What's up allies, in today's video we're going to be talking about a new competitor to the RG ally and also to the Steam Deck I would say, this is the Lenovo Legion Go. So we're going to break down the specs, we're going to talk about the pricing and we're going to give you guys our feedback about what our thoughts are with this device, especially comparing it with the RG ally. So if that's something you guys were interested in, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let's get right into this video. So to get started, this is going to be a huge device as you can see here with the dimension, it's also going to weigh a lot, especially when compared to the RG Ally. The display is supposed to be an 8.8 .8 inch QHD+, 2560 by 1600 IPS, 16 by 10 screen. So this is going to be a massive screen and supposed to bring 2K support to handheld gaming. This is also going to be using the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme chip. This is the same chip that is in the RG Ally. It's going to have 16 gig of memory and it's going to have different storage option 256, 512, 1 terabyte. And it's going to have a 2 cell for 9.2 WHR super rapid charge controller battery capacity, 900 mAh. Now, I don't know too much about this, but my hope is that the battery is big enough to support this big screen. This is also going to have two USB-C port, one on the bottom, one at top, and also it's going to have detachable controllers as you've seen here, like the Nintendo Joy-Cons. This also has 144 hertz refresh rate for the screen as well. So, so now that we've got all the specs out, let's talk about what my thoughts are about this device and how it compares to the RG Ally. So let's start with the display and talk about the comparison with RG Ally. So again, this is going to be a massive display at 8.8 .8 inch QHD+. I think it's going to look beautiful, especially like if you're trying to cloud game. It has 144 hertz VVR display. So again, this is going to be a thin of beauty. As you guys know, the RG Ally has 120 hertz refresh rate and a 1080p screen. And my concern here with this device being a bigger screen and also having a higher refresh rate is the fact that no games I think personally is going to take advantage of this and it's going to take a hit on the battery life. I don't know, I don't think this is the way to go with a uh, pocket handheld PC because as we've seen with RG Ally, even with a 7 inch display, trying to get a game to hit 1080p, it's difficult to get that to hit at 60 hertz, especially like with the newer AAA games, it's hard to get 60 FPS with those games. My concern is yes, on paper, this looks real impressive with 8.8 .8 inch and 144 hertz at 2K resolution, but it's going to be difficult for games to take advantage of this. Now, again, if you want to cloud game, I think that this is going to be really cool, especially using a platform like GeForce Now. But apart from that, I don't see the need for this, especially when you're thinking about consuming battery life as well. This is going to be a battery drain. It's going to be interesting to see how the Legion deals with the battery issues, seeing that the RG Ally right now is struggling with having decent battery. Next, let's talk about the controllers. As you've seen here, they're supposed to have a detachable controller just like the Nintendo Joy-Con and the One X Player. Now, as you guys know, with the One X Player, there was issues with the detachable controllers and how it just did not perform too well. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how this one works. I know this might be an advantage with the RG Ally because if a controller breaks in the Ally, you have to pretty much open up your unit but this one's going to be interesting because if your controller breaks, you can just get another one. Hopefully they sell the parts on the website where you can just buy a replacement Joy-Con. So I think that's a huge advantage that this has over the RG Ally. And also this is going to have trackpads as well. So navigating windows with the trackpad is going to be really, really cool. And I think that is something that the RG Ally does not have. Lastly, this is supposed to act like a mouse course. So you can use it for like FPS games like you've seen in the trailer of this product. But I think this is pretty neat too. It might be a gimmick. So it's going to be quite interesting to test this one out and see how that feature works out. So Lenovo is going to also be making some accessories to go with this device. As you've seen here, one called the Legion Glasses. It's kind of like an AR glass. It's going to be running for $500. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how this one plays out. And also they're going to have a plug-in headphones USB-C here, as you can see. This is supposed to be around 50 bucks. So again, I don't know how I feel about this. I'd rather use a Bluetooth headphones, but just it's 
pretty neat to see though that they do have accessories to support this device what i'm wondering is this device going to support eGPUs i know that's something right now that's going to be a huge advantage over the RGLI because with the RGLI you can only use the XG Mobile which is you know made by ASUS so that's kind of a bummer but to see this one support eGPUs i think it's going to be a huge advantage over the Ally as well so let's talk about pricing and availability they said it's September 1st we're going to see the official announcement for this so you guys know this right here is a leak and then October is when this device is supposed to be releasing and pricing wise this should cost around $800 so it's kind of more expensive than the RG Ally but again they have different variants so it's going to be interesting to see if these different prices with the different storage capacity but yeah i'm excited for this device we're definitely gonna get it on this channel and we're going to definitely test it and do some comparison with rg ally so if that's something you guys were interested in make sure you stick around for more lenovo legion content appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time peace out